The state's tax-free holiday starts this Friday, and students don't just need new clothes to start class. Schools also provide those long list of supplies kids will need for the year, and that can add up. Channel 13's Megan Ruther has advice on how you can score some big savings. Grace Coney's three kids will soon trade in the swings for the books. So all of them are going back to school. And that means back to school shopping. Coney says she plans to spend $800 this year. Their clothes and their shoes, new backpack. Before you hit the stores, experts say you need to do your homework. Find all the store ads, look for the best deals, and make a savings plan. I got some free post-it notes. Lori Halesso started shopping a few weeks ago. I got packs of pencils for 19 cents, pencil sharpeners for 19 cents. These folders were 9 cents. Um, I got this paper for a quarter uh, pack. The mother of five is an angel for saving site, savingsangel.com. She says she always matches store sales with coupons to cut costs, but this time of year she also searches store ads for what are called loss leaders, items sold way below retail value to get you in the store. Hit each store and cherry pick just the best deals instead of trying to shop at one store and get everything that you need. It may sound time consuming, but Haleso says she picked up most of her supplies in a one and a half hour trip to several stores in the same area. She says she'll send her high school sophomore back to class for only $20. Saving as much as I can on supplies is a big deal. A big deal as kids like the Coney's head back to the books. It's will be fun. I'm, I'm excited. In Des Moines, Megan Ruther, Channel 13 News. Again, Iowa's sales tax holiday is this Friday and Saturday. You can buy select clothing and footwear tax-free as well.